Okay, everyone. Um, so for on the very end of that last video, we're gonna change our route. We're actually decided to just go back to New River, uh, New Belgium Brewing, and then come up to here, and we're gonna see if it makes the same mistake going into the Crown Plaza. <laughs> Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Oh, okay. Well, we're good. It definitely goes more aggressive in the roundabouts, but a little bit too aggressive. That's it. It has a disengagement because it should have stopped. It has to do, um, stop when it turns red and then continue going on right. Press the accelerator to give it some confidence. Okay, and that did well. That's killed out on its own. Okay. Coming up here, it should get in the left lane. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It slowed for that car turn in there, which a human wouldn't have. Turn on your blinker on. It does this a lot where it doesn't turn the blinker on, it just kind of swerves into the turn lane. And then it turns the blinker on. Model three, though. I didn't even see it. The car on the bicycle looks pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay, uh, it's slowing down. I'm having to press the accelerator so this car behind me doesn't rear end me. Oh, it has a speed bump here. Interesting. So that might have been why it slowed down there, just prematurely for that speed bump. A little bit close to that truck, but acceptable. So this is where I'm afraid, right here, it failed last time, because um, the car was coming. But if the car doesn't come from the right, then I, we need to do exactly what that car did. Um, okay. It doesn't even know what to it do. It didn't even do it this time. It just failed completely. Yeah, because we fast navigation. Okay. Um, well, clearly that was a clear failure of the car. It, it thinks for uh, where that car is right there, so. Um, oh. Oops. Cuba drivers, right? That's, um, okay, so obviously this spot was worse actually than 9.0 the last time I did it. So there's a blind, there's a stop sign here that I completely tried to blow through last time. And it made it. I did mark that stop sign with the camera button, so possibly they reviewed this clip and made sure it saw the stop sign this time. I'm going to press the accelerator to get it to go. Do you consider this two lanes or just one lane here? It's just one. Yeah. I had a debate in that last time. Let's see if it stays further left this time. Ooh, it has a bad pop. Last time it hugged the right really bad right here. And it's doing it again. And the last time it actually went into those, it tried to go into those cones. So we're gonna see if it does it again here. Okay, so that's an improvement. Um, it would last time at 9.0, it tried to go into those cones, and then um, this time it did not. There's a half speed bump. Oh, it just marks the little grate right there. So what we're gonna do, like last time, go around to the back corner right here. And then we're gonna go through all the speed bumps in this parking lot and then out to the Crown Plaza. You actually can, can you route the Crown Plaza? 
It uh, doesn't know where it wants to go. What we need to watch here, um, so everyone knows what we're going to do, is we're going to turn here. If we miss this turn, it goes straight into the interstate. So last time it missed it. So what we're going to do is actually take a, make sure it takes a right in the Crown Plaza. And I pr it's still actually in Navigant Autopilot. I'm sorry, in, in full self-driving. So I'm pressing the accelerator to get it to go. It doesn't really have a route. Still trying, I'm pressing it again, pressing it. Okay. Oh, I don't go 30 in here. So it's not meant for parking lots yet. They haven't coded that. But obviously, it needs to just go slower on parking lots. The speed limit's 15 in here, not 25 or 30, whatever it's saying. And it doesn't, since that speed limit sign is really tiny, it doesn't actually read it. Okay, so this is going to be a good test. So last time it didn't stop very well at the stop sign. Let's see how it does this time. Definitely should stop there. Um, so again, not very good. I'm going to push it through. There's a car on the left. Yeah, it should turn up there. See if it mixes this turn, we're gonna have to be extra cautious here. Alright, here's the turn. I'm I yep. Yeah. Totally misses that road. Yeah. So that's it's, it's a I don't think it's a full self driving issue, it's just a it's a routing it's a routing issue. Um, well which couldn't be considered full self driving just because the car needs to navigation was right, it, like it says the turn right there, but the car just didn't. So either it's not seeing the turn, or just the routing just doesn't compute, it just doesn't do it. So we'll just note down in the comments what you think that is. Is it a routing issue, a navigation issue, maps issue, full self driving issue? What do you think? Um, so this is going to be the end of this section here. Uh, at this point, we're going to go back to Canting, uh, where Mike is from, and then um, and then. He has some special uh, areas we want to test around there. Uh, he regularly does on autopilot, and I believe, believe they still have issues. So we're going to see if full self driving solves those issues. In 500 feet, turn left. So I appreciate everyone watching. Um, Mike, do you have any final comments? No, not really. Uh, most of the issues just seem to be navigation type things, speed limit being wrong or not seeing the signs or things like that. Yeah. Otherwise, once they fix those, the overall experience is going to be much smoother. I think if they fix that, those issues, then I'd say we were ready for the button for everyone else to, everyone else to have it. Um, it's just those, those little things where not reading speed limit signs and not going the correct like at safe speed, like in the city, it might say 30 mile an hour, but to go 30 mile an hour downtown Asheville is just not safe, and it shouldn't do that. So, we're going to stop here, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.